Ulcerative colitis, or UC, is a type of inflammatory bowel disease, also known as IBD. It is a chronic condition that causes parts of your digestive system, known as your gastrointestinal tract, or GI tract for short, to become inflamed. UC is limited to the large intestine, also known as the colon, and can include the rectum. Inflammation occurs only in the innermost layer of the lining of the intestine. It usually begins in the rectum and lower part of the colon, but may spread continuously to involve the entire colon. Although no one knows what causes UC, researchers think it is likely an interaction between your genes, your immune system, and something in the environment. Your immune system usually protects you from foreign invaders, such as viruses and other organisms that make their way into your body by launching an attack called an immune response. In people with colitis, something causes your immune system to launch an attack within the GI tract that won't shut off. And because the attack goes on, it causes the walls of the GI tract to become inflamed and the symptoms of UC to appear. Your GI tract is there to help your body absorb water, vitamins, and minerals from the foods you eat and drink. As the lining of the intestine becomes inflamed, it loses its ability to absorb water and certain nutrients, resulting in diarrhea, and in some cases, nutrient deficiencies. Restoring and maintaining good nutrition is a key principle in the management of UC. Since everyone's disease is different, the best diet is one that meets your individual nutritional needs while helping you better manage your symptoms. Be sure to work with your doctor or dietitian to identify your nutritional needs and to create a diet that works for you. The most common symptoms of UC include abdominal pain, urgency to have a bowel movement, and frequent diarrhea, which often contains mucus or blood. Together, these symptoms may result in a loss of appetite and weight loss. Ulcerative colitis can even cause growth delays in children. These symptoms may differ from person to person and vary depending on where the disease is located within your body and how severe your ulcerative colitis is. Your symptoms may even change over time. People with UC often go through periods of remission when their disease is quiet with few or no symptoms, alternating with times when the disease flares or is active and causing symptoms. It is very important for you to keep track of these symptoms and to let your doctor know that you have been experiencing them. For reasons that are not entirely understood, some people develop symptoms that are related to the disease but affect other parts of the body including redness, pain, and itchiness in the eyes, joint pain and swelling, skin rashes, osteoporosis in the bones, liver problems, and risk for blood clots. If you ever experience any of these symptoms, let your doctor know immediately. To get a better sense of your disease and to monitor it over time, your doctor will likely order a number of tests including blood tests, stool tests, x-rays, and scans, such as CAT scans or MRIs, as well as scoping procedures, like a colonoscopy, to help them see what's going on inside your GI tract. Your doctor will also recommend regular screening for colorectal cancer and cellular changes happening within the intestine. Be sure to talk to your physician on how often to undergo these tests it is important that you and your doctor continually monitor your disease to ensure that you remain in good health. While there are several medications available to help control your UC, there is no one-size-fits-all treatment for everyone because each person's disease is different. You and your doctor will work together to find a treatment specifically for you. Some medications may be better if your disease is mild, and some medications may be better if your disease is severe. In some situations, your doctor might even prescribe a combination of medications, which may include aminosalicylates, corticosteroids, immunomodulators, and biologic therapies. 
The medications differ in how they work inside the body and how you take them. Medications can be pills, liquids, suppositories, and some are injected or given as intravenous infusions or IV. Before taking any medications, be sure to discuss the pros and cons of all options with your doctor. Staying informed can help you better manage your UC. While medications are typically the preferred initial treatment approach, there may be times when a UC patient requires surgery. Surgery for ulcerative colitis typically involves the removal of the colon or the colon and the rectum. In recent years, surgeons have developed minimally invasive techniques that allow for shorter recovery times. The decision to undergo surgery requires each patient to consider the risks and benefits and involves an open discussion with your healthcare team. There may be times along the way where you need help, and that's okay. The Crohn's and Colitis Foundation of America is here to help. We offer education, support, disease tracking tools, and other resources that can help you effectively manage your disease. We also have an IBD Help Center with information specialists that are standing by on the phone or web to give you the guidance and support you need to stay healthy. To learn more, contact CCFA today by visiting www.ccfa.org.